today I'm gonna to do a tutorial that I'm so excited about. I've been wanting to do this for a while. It's a 60s, 70s Bridget Bardot inspired bouffant. I am gonna use two of the products that we sampled this month. One is Protect and Oil by Beauty Protector. And then the second is Lock and Co's Honeycomb. I'm wearing it right now. So the photo that I saw Bridget Bardot that really inspired this look, she had thick black winged liner and a light pink lip. So that's what I tried to do. And now I'm gonna do the hairstyle. In order to do this style or any sort of updo or half updo, you really want to have as dirty of hair as possible. So I think my hair is about two days dirty. Um, I curled it this morning with my InstaWave, so there's already some body in there. The first thing I'm going to do is use Orbe's Dry Texturizing Spray and spray this all over my hair because again, you really want that like texture and sort of dirtiness in your hair to make your style stay. So I'm just going to put this really liberally everywhere. As you can see, we've already made my hair even a lot bigger than it was before. You really want all that texture to make this look really stay. Now that my hair is super texturized and really, really big, we're gonna start teasing. I'm gonna use this Spornet Little Wonder to tease my hair. If you're not used to teasing your hair, the thing you need to know is it's gonna feel totally unnatural. Everything about teasing your hair feels wrong because you're brushing the wrong direction. What I'm gonna do is lay my hair like this and then start taking layers, starting at the front, and I'm just gonna start teasing. So I'm gonna take my teasing brush and literally just brushing down. The more you tease, the better, and I know it looks messy, but just don't worry about it because we're gonna use that Beauty Protector Protect in Oil at the end to smooth it out. After you tease a section, just sort of lay it to the front and then take the section behind it and start teasing that until you've done maybe three or four layers. I'm gonna take another piece here, just comb it back, comb it back, comb it back. Once you've teased the top layers of your hair, you're gonna wanna spray that teasing. So I'm using Mighty Hairspray from number four, and I'm just spraying the area that I teased from the sides, from the front, and the back. Now that I have a giant poof, I'm gonna find the very front section where my bangs would be, and I'm gonna sort of pin this out of the way for just a second. I'm gonna take these sides and try to sort of smooth them down while keeping them nice and big. So you definitely don't wanna see the rattiness, but the idea is that it's supposed to be really, really nice and big. And as you're starting to lay this down, if you see areas that you think need a little more teasing, like I feel like I could use a little more in the back, you're just gonna find those sections, do a little more of a tease, and then try to lay them as smooth as you can, but we'll definitely do some more smoothing if we need to at the end. Then, you're gonna take this front section, like so, and you're gonna take some bobby pins and just pin it back. So I like to do it in a little bit of an X. So I kind of take the two outside sides, sort of X them over one another, and then take bobby pins and pin it down. You want to sort of like get these little pieces in the back kind of like up and fun and really big, really channeling that like Bridget Bardot style. Now you want to just smooth the very top layer and as you're doing it you can sort of determine if you think there's more pieces that should be up or down. Then I'm going to take my Beauty Protector Protectin Oil, I'm going to put a little bit like on the tips of my fingers, rub that together and sort of use it again, like you don't wanna undo any of the rattiness, but you want it to look like pretty and smooth. Keep smoothing it anywhere that it looks particularly like ratty from the back combing, and then make sure that it looks just as big as you wanted it to be. In my opinion, the bigger the better. Then you're gonna take your hairspray again and just sp or sort of spray the whole thing so it really stays in place. And that's it, voila! A super easy to do, really quick, Bridget Bardot inspired bouffant. Perfect for a night out with the girls or a date or anytime you just wanna look a little extra va va boom. So ask me any questions you have in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our tutorials. And that's it, I will see you next time.